We all have become familiar with the stereotypes and stigma associated with substance use disorder. That addiction looks like someone underneath a bridge, dirty or disheveled. Addiction is a disease. It's not a character flaw. It's not a choice. It's not a moral failing. But we've heard it all before. Here we go, another frequent flyer. Why bother Narcan? They're just gonna come back. Or why would someone choose that life? No one chooses that life and everyone deserves a second chance. When you picture someone in addiction, could you picture your brother, sister, coworker? Addiction does not discriminate. We've been taught that addiction looks like someone underneath a bridge, dirty or disheveled. People facing it look like you and me. One in three households in America are affected by addiction. 12% of people have used an illegal drug in the last month, and another 2% have misused a prescription drug. A person who uses or misuses a drug could be someone you know. Notice I said a person who uses a drug. They're a person first. We wanna try and avoid using words like addict. Words hold power. They can be more than sticks and stones. Stigma includes words that label someone in a negative and shameful way. We wanna avoid the word addict. We wanna talk about someone with person first language. A person in long-term recovery, a person with a substance use disorder, a person in addiction, they're a person first. The way I've heard it described by another recovery coach is that I am more than my addiction. I'm a person first. If you're gonna define me by my diagnosis, you better list all of my ingredients because I am also a mother, I'm also a spouse. A person is so much more than their addiction. What do these words matter? Why does stigma matter? It affects people. Your words hold immense power. Your kindness could change the trajectory of someone's life. I think it's important to realize that people are more than the labels that they have on their chart. It was very hard to just say the words that I needed help out loud. Um, so I didn't tell my family or my friends that I needed any sort of support. My mom is a nurse and while she understands addiction, it wasn't until I needed help and I needed to find a recovery that she really developed a deeper level of understanding and a deeper level of empathy for the people that she works with. Don't stigmatize people because addiction can happen to anyone and recovery is possible for everyone. I hate stigma. <laughs> I hate it. Um, there's a lot of stigma related to harm reduction. People say that we're enabling drug use and that is not true. Um, and how we respond uh, is that substance use is always going to happen. We're just giving people a way to not spread disease and we're just giving people a way to make better choices for their health and their well-being. We actually try to provide safe using supplies to help people plant the seeds of recovery to get them on the right path. According to research from Utah State University, stigma decreases the chances of them getting into treatment and recovery. We know that currently 10% of people with a substance use disorder actually make it into treatment. If we can decrease stigma, we can increase recovery. Medical professionals that were supportive, they, watching the videos at LifeWays helped me learn that my substance use disorder was not a, cho it was not a choice, it was a substance use disorder. So how can you help fight stigma? You can listen non-judgmentally to your patients, your consumers, your friends, your family. Offer that compassionate support and kindness to those that come through your door. Remember to see a person first. See a person for who they are rather than what drugs they use or what label is on their medical charts. Do your research, understand addiction and the resources available in your community. Treat people with substance use disorder with dignity and respect. See the person. Avoid hurtful labels. Speak up when you hear someone being mistreated because of their drug use. And for those of you with personal experience, share your stories about stigma. Share your recovery stories. You never know how planting that seed can help someone recover. Stop the stigma. Don't give up. Recovery happens.